Well, Paddy Casey came first with his song Saints and Sinners, and Paddy's added on an extra PA for later on this evening. Six o'clock in Tower Records in Wicklow Street. They've been going so well for him. So, Paddy Casey, if you want to see him live doing his thing, Wicklow Street, actually there's a link there between Dean Friedman as well, because you could go to Paddy Casey in Wicklow Street and then pop across to the Olympia, because he's on tonight. And Dean Friedman, the man behind that fantastic song, Lucky Stars, and he's also in the studio next door to us to sing a further song. Dean, good morning, and you're very welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning, Ian. Nice to see you. I saw your lips moving during the chorus there. <laughs> <laughs> Singing along, yeah. I love that song. And listen, I mean, it's, nobody could make that up. I mean, it does, it's kind of Neil Simon-esque, really, isn't it? I mean, it could be, Pat was just saying, it was like something out of a movie or whatever. Well, uh, it is a little pop musical that I put together in a short song. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. And the girl, it was Denise Marsa, is that right? That's right. And was she, were you related to her in any way? Were you going out together? Or? No, I met Denise. Uh, she was working with the engineer on my first album, Don Palouse, and he brought her into the studio and uh, she opened up her voice and started singing and you know it's a beautiful just, voice isn't she uh, remarkable and she's a, a fine songwriter as well she's still recording uh, she's got a website Denise Marsa uh, there's a link to her website on my website right. which is deanfriedman.com so okay. check out there you can go see what she's up to and the song itself though and I mean I'm sure the song sometimes is the bane of your life you know and you say <laughs> God I wish I mean if I hadn't come up with that people you know like you just become typecast in a way don't you with one particular it song it is one of those you know like a double edged sword but yeah. Uh, I'm, I've always been proud of it. Yeah, that is a superb song. And did it go to number one in the UK? In the, uh, the char- was you know who uh, kept it at number one was Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> Never forgave him for that. Uh, that's 25 years ago. That's the 25th anniversary of uh, of that particular song and the album Well Well Said, The Rocking Chair. And uh, will you be doing all that stuff tonight? Have you got, you know, in the intervening period, obviously you've been writing other songs as well. and Oh, several hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be doing lots of stuff from the early albums, uh, uh, from the Well Well Said, The Rocking Chair album. Uh, from which that's from, uh, and uh, stuff over that I've written over the years uh, from the last couple of albums as well. Yeah, and you've, but you've been doing other things as well. You've been doing music for TV shows. It's true. I did all the soundtrack music uh, after the first year for the TV series Boon, Boon which starred oh, Michael yeah. Elphick and Neil Morrissey, and that was great fun getting to write a lot of country tunes. And yeah. Put my cowboy hat on the studio. And you did something for Nickelodeon as well, which is kind of a technological thing. Yeah, uh, well, uh, there was a period of time where I got very involved in multimedia. I was designing video games for uh, TV and for children's museums around the world and musical playground uh, equipment. It was just, uh, you know, strange instruments with names like boobles, honkblats, and boingity boinks. Right. And uh, fun, creative stuff, but always some musical component yeah. to it. And, and was, it was this kind of an interactive thing that kids could play around with? Yeah, yeah. essentially it is a musical playground. Yeah. And uh, I developed the first one for the Eureka Children's Museum, which is in Halifax in England, and uh, it became real popular there. And uh, over time, I got commissions to reproduce them for museums around the world. So uh-huh. there are boobles and honkblats and boingy de boings in almost every continent. <laughs> Marvelous stuff altogether. Now, on, on Lucky Stars itself, was that autobiographical? Because I mean, it, it would be hard to have that kind of a conversation <laughs> to make it up. Like I mean, You mean, did I see Lisa? <laughs> did, did you see Lisa? <laughs> I, I did, but we didn't just have lunch. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> and but did you were you confronted by that question? Did you see Lisa? <laughs> well, you know, it, it's something like that. I think happens to anyone yeah. in a relationship when they have to confront you know, past loves yeah. and relationships, there's always a little bit of jealousy. And that's this little innocent squabble that uh, is resolved happily in the mm. end. A bit like Dan Fogelberg's same old Lang Syne, meeting the old lover in the yeah. grocery store and that kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. Very good. Okay, well, listen, you're going to do a song for us which was actually banned by the BBC. Imagine that. <sighs> My God, the you narrow. controversial thing. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the Sex Pistols. <laughs> and Frankie goes to Hollywood, eh? So, yeah, you were, this was banned because it was too commercial, really, wasn't it? That's right, uh, it mentions the name of a uh, fast food restaurant and they were convinced that immediately upon hearing the song everyone listening would go rushing down yeah. and order a hamburger and there would be stampedes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it was about and was this i mean was this something that you you, uh, you wrote in a queue uh, well, see, this is a, a song called McDonald's Girl. Uh, yeah. and actually, I wrote it about a Burger King girl, but it didn't flow as well <laughs> lyrically, so I changed the lyric. <laughs> All right. Dean, thank you very much indeed. We're going to have uh, McDonald's Girl, and this show is actually sponsored by the wonderful McDonald's and their great tasting breakfast every morning. So oh, well, I'm so pleased to hear There you go. You know? Finally, at last. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> okay. Dean Friedman, McDonald's Girl. McDonald's girl She has a smile of innocence So tender and warm I am in 
in love with the McDonald's girl. She's an angel in a polyester uniform. I leave from softball practice every night. It's getting dark, but the golden arches light up the way. I turn the corner at the traffic light. I count my money and then I rehearse what I'm gonna say. And like an order of fries, a quarter pounder with cheese. I love the light in your eyes. Will you go out with me, please? I am in love with the McDonald's girl. She had the smile of innocence, so so tender and warm. I am in love with the McDonald's girl. She is an angel in a polyester uniform. She is an angel in a polyester uniform. She doesn't try to impress anyone. She doesn't act real tough like all the other girls that I know. She don't treat me like a simple ton. She's not afraid to be the only other virgin I know. When my hamburger's cold, I get up ready to go. She's only 15 years old, and I'm in love with her so. I am in love with the McDonald's girl. She has a smile of innocence, so tender and warm. I am in love with the McDonald's girl. She is an angel in a polyester uniform. She is an angel in a polyester uniform. Sure, love, way. <laughs> McDonald's girl there. Dean Friedman live in studio with us. Uh, by the way, are you still doing S&M? As in, sorry, I should rephrase that. <laughs> Even am I still singing s and still singing the as song. As opposed to performing s yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am, and I'll be doing it uh, tonight at You'll the Olympia Theatre. That's okay. right. The Olympia Theatre tonight. Ticketmaster.ie are indeed, uh, if you want to give them a call, this telephone number that I have here. And there's still some tickets available. Where the hell is it? Oh, yeah. Hang on a second, Dean. Hang on in there. 0818 719. 300. Have you ever thought of putting a, a, a stage show together with, with, with all of your songs? You know the way they do it with, say, Mamma Mia, the Abbas uh, musical, uh, Buddy Holly. They've done it with loads. Uh, our Madness. I've Absolutely. Done, uh, I've, I've thought a lot about it. Any yeah. producers out there uh, want to talk to me? I, give me great, a ring. They, they, I mean, there's great stories going through all your songs, and you could link them all quite well. Phone. Uh, so you send your answers to the Marion Fanukin program, Art.